In August of 2023, Squarespace made a major update to the way we use the program. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to your brand new website, menu, and all of the content that you'll find inside. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace. And if your main menu says website at the very top, you're watching the right tutorial. If it still says pages and then design, your website program has not been updated yet and this tutorial does not apply to you. But let's assume it does say website. Let's talk about what we're going to find in this menu. Clicking on here, you'll have your main navigation. These are the pages that are linked in your main menu. I only have one page here, so we see home. That's the only page. Now, if you do have a member area enabled, you'll see that right here. However, if it's not enabled, the next thing you'll see is not linked. And that's where you'll find pages that aren't in the main navigation of your website. Underneath that, we have all the new stuff, the utilities, system pages, website tools, and you'll see trash if you've deleted a page. Now, if we scroll down here, let's talk about what we'll find in these menus. Inside system pages, this is where you access your 404 page. You can assign any page on your Squarespace website to be your 404 error page, the page that people go to if they misspell a URL or they go to a link that's broken. After that, we have access denied. This is the page that people will see if you have a member area enabled and they're not logged in, but try to go to a members only URL. After that, we have checkout. Now, a super important thing to mention right here, checkout, if you click on this, it's a quick shortcut to the style for your checkout page. You'll still find checkout available under your main site settings. And last but not least, we have lock screen. What people see for a password protected site or page, you'll only find that here inside your system pages. Again, from our main menu, what I want you to do is select website and then scroll down to system pages. We've got 404, access denied, checkout, and lock screen. Underneath that, we have website tools, and this is where we'll find my favorite page in a Squarespace website. Our first option is custom CSS. This used to be under design, custom CSS. Now you'll find it in website, website tools, custom CSS. Your custom files option here used to be underneath the CSS panel and now it's on the top. Just a little bit of a rearrange that's gonna make it a lot easier to manage your files. Underneath your custom CSS, you'll find code injection. This used to be in our main settings option, but it's right here in website tools. And this is how you add code to the header and footer of your site, as well as the lock page. You'll find a lot of programs like some email service providers and even Google Analytics will need you to use these tools right here. After that, we have the mobile information bar and cookies and visitor data. Both of these options are still available in your main settings menu. These are just quick links to jump to that space. If you wanna access those from settings, go back to our main menu here, select settings, and you'll find mobile information bar and cookies and visitor data right there. Now, if you're used to this older menu where it says pages, design, then commerce, marketing, and all that fun stuff, you might see something important missing right here, design. We actually have a quicker way to get to our site styles menu than we've had before. On the right hand side of your screen, right here next to the full preview arrow, you'll see the site styles button. Click on that paintbrush and you can open your site styles menu from any page. You don't have to be in edit mode. That's literally any view on your site. Select that paintbrush and you'll be able to edit the site styles where you'll find fonts, colors, animations, spacings, buttons, and image block settings. Again, edit mode not required. That's it for this super quick update and I truly hope you found this information helpful. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.